Wolfstick 34 in Chapter 34, Voter invites Lin for coffee at Wumpy to celebrate his driver's license. Oh, congrats, Voter, you, you made it. Yo, any of you out there without a learner's still, like, I mean, you're in my trick. No judgment from me. Believe you me, no judgment. Like, I only got my learners recently, man. They do not see each other often these days. And she pretends to work at a new coffee shop. Hmm. What's the name of this new coffee shop, Lin? Linky? Lin is aware that she has a completely different perspective on things now in comparison to their first chat in Wumpy about the matric farewell. Things are vastly different. I think it was in like chapter two or chapter three when they went out to Wumpy and now things are just so different. You know, Lin has been out on the street. She, she considered like selling herself and yeah, man, she, she's been through it. She's been through the most and it still to this day. You know, Lin, like any other jealous person out there, it completely irritates Lin that Voter mentions Ricky several times. Voter and Ricky eventually go to MD together. And Lin asks Voter to buy her a Blue Bulls flag, a Blue Bulls cap, as well as a whistle at the rugby shop near Lo Loftus. Loftus? So that is the stadium. It's the home ground of the Blue Bulls, Loftus Farsfeld, as a present for a colleague. Donovan again offers her Sue Ellen's job, but this is for a better salary. And Lin, she refuses quite hesitantly. She cannot work for such a small salary. And Donovan urges her to think about it. He says that he'll call her. Now, Lin asks Ruas about her husband and their past. And Ruas shares with Lin the sad story of the dishonesty of her husband. So this is Ruas' story. So the husband dishonest, he lied. And she also discussed her and her daughter's predicament after her husband left and further wrong choices on her daughter's path. So they lived on a farm and Ruas's husband ran off with one of the young girls on the farm and absolutely left Ruas as well as her daughter stranded. And Lin now asks herself how it is possible that things could go so wrong in someone's life. I mean, she had to turn to begging and her daughter to, well, selling her services. And she reconsiders Donovan's offer at Millennium Creations. Okay, I guess this is more like quote-unquote like ethical work. And old Johnny gives her a handful of coins to help Zibby. It comes to 102 Rand and 49 cents. Imagine Johnny, caring old Johnny. And Zibby is still mostly silent, but he does greet Lin and answers with a yes and a no. So he's not back to his best, you know, loud and proud. It's going to take some time. 